Hi, this is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Our topic today is the Everything Report. I'm going to show you how to get a lot of information out of zinc for any subset, shopping cart, or, or, or so on that you uh, might want. Okay, this is a new report that wasn't in the paper. Uh, just a reminder that this work is coming to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. And so that's our topic. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, and so on. And this work is supported by the NIH. So you want, uh, for a particular subset of molecules, you want protein target affinities, vendors, annotated databases, uh, sources of information, smiles, uh, cast numbers, names, synonyms. You want it all in one report. We call this the 800-pound gorilla report. Let me show you how to do it. So here's zinc, zinc.docking.org. And I'll just remind you that you can see all the catalogs in zinc by going to subsets catalog. And you can see that there's 276 catalogs currently in zinc. And if you select the list tab, uh, then and then click on last updated, you can see the most recently updated and so on. And you can sort each of these columns any way you like. So we're going to search for um, NIH. And here's the NIH clinical co collection via PubChem. So we're going to click on that. And this is uh, a collection of compounds that the uh, NIH has made available and have, have appeared in a number of, um, of papers. It's called the clinical collection. Uh, we actually have two different copies of this. We have one that's via PubChem and one that's direct from their website. Their website is here, the NIH clinical collection. So if you download these SDF here, then we've also got that in zinc. But today I'm going to show you this one. And so here, uh, if you click on sample molecules, it'll take you to a search. Now, this looks just like as if you searched for molecules in zinc. Okay, and the query details tab shows you that we're actually searching for NIH clinical collection via uh, PubChem. And here's a permalink, and here's a bit of SRSS that you can embed in your website if you want to link directly to this in the future. But let's go back to the results for now. So um, normally you'd be able to request a compact summary, a list of targets. Um, you can download properties, purchasing info, catalog info, SDF, smiles, cast numbers, anything you want. But here's the 800-pound gorilla report. So I'm going to select it there. And now I'm going to say refresh. OK, and now it's starting to download over here, down in the corner. Now, this is quite a lot of information, and we're putting it together on the fly. So it takes a, a minute or two to download. Um, and so uh, while that's happening, I'll just remind you uh, about a few things in Zinc. That is to say, you can, down, you can log into Zinc, and you can save your shopping carts. You can s save your molecules from project to project. Um, you, can, uh, you can request a user ID. It's free to do that. Um, we would encourage you to do that. We have a quick search bar up here in the corner uh, where you can type in lots of different things, not only smiles, uh, zinc IDs, um, uh, vendor names, but also molecular targets, you know, 5-HT2A, and so on. So there's this quick search bar allows you to search for lots of different things using plain, ordinary text. The menu bar here at the top gives you access to a lot of features. Again, I would refer you to the to the paper, to the paper in uh, JCIM uh, 2012, May, for more details about this website. But I will tell you that, um, so I'm just reviewing all these things while the download is completing. This is a substantial database, you know, 700 uh, molecules or so. Um, and if you were downloading this for all uh, drugs or for all metabolites, you could imagine that this might take a really long time to download. What, what do you care? You just leave it in the browser and let it run and it will run. Okay, so we're still up to 2.9 megabytes and here, there, it's now it's finished. Okay, so now we're going to click on zincresults.xls and it brings up Excel. Let's go through the results. Zinc ID is the first column. Smiles is the second column. This was just tab delimited format, so that's why the columns are all glued together like that. The third column is our best guess at a name. 
we're still getting better at this. So we're still getting, we're still practicing at this. So we've tried to guess the right name, but we're, we're, we'll be better at that in the future. This is a list of targets uh, for this compound at one micromolar of affinity. So what you should see here is, uh, let's just move this over. Uh, so there's the target in, that's the, the Swiss, the uniprot code, and then that's the affinity in nanomolar. Okay, so 2.9 nanomolar, terrific. And then each one of them is separated by a colon. So it's da 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 da, da colon value, semicolon, Swiss prod ID, uniprot ID, uh, affinity in nanomolar. Okay, so let's just slide over, shall we? So target 1 micromolar affinity, target 10 micromolar affinity, so you can imagine, uh, well, maybe that affinity was in micromolar. Mm. I think the affinity must have been in micromolar. John, check that. Swiss prot code. Uh, this is all the Swiss prot codes for this target. Okay, so these are uniprot codes with affinities, Swiss prot codes. Okay, so we're just telling you everything we know about this target. Let's just go. So purchasability about this compound. Purchasability. So e, e, we use little abbreviations here. So emol means e molecules. Okay, Amadis, uh, Apollo, Indofine. Generally, these things should be clear to you, but uh, you can use our uh, website to find out what these codes mean also. Um, annotated catalogs. So these are com not commercially available, but in interesting. So Kemble 11, and that's what it's called in Kemble 11. Uh, Chibi, Binding DB, Drugstore, um, and so on. All these annotated databases, and sometimes there's a lot of them, okay? They're all separated by semicolons again. All right. So we keep moving on here. Synonyms, okay, these are taken from SDF files that people give us from uh, catalogs. So all the synonyms we have, uh, you can see sometimes we've, we've failed to parse them correctly, so we've got these number signs in there. Just ignore them. Uh, sometimes there's funny things with primes and, and uh, chemical nomenclature where we haven't rendered it quite properly. But we've tried to do our best in capturing names. And again, this column can be awfully long. Cast numbers. Every time we have a cast number for a molecule, we keep track of it. So uh, sometimes you'll have a second opinion, or sometimes it'll be a different salt of the molecule. We hope that's useful to you. And finally, we have this sort of summary. Is the compound purchasable or not? Remember, we only searched for purchasable compounds here. And so we only got purchasable compound. So the items are all in stock, or maybe in a few cases, oh, it says not for sale. I'm not quite sure how that got through. Um, and then we go down. Sometimes you can find them there. Um, yeah, so looks pretty good. One or two little not for sales. You can also search for everything. Okay, In that case, you'll get a, a table that contains also molecules that aren't for sale. Uh, and if you hover the mouse over each of these things, it'll explain to you what they're about, except I haven't yet explained what the 800-pound gorilla report is about. Okay. So we've got all this help online. We've got, we're trying to make it really useful for you. And um, so that's the end of, of the story of the 800-pound gorilla report. Um, this has been the uh, Chemistry for Biology channel uh, talking to you about zinc and the everything report. You can find us on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. And thank you for your attention.